Hello. A question is with two parts. Is it possible to get inside Vortex without meditating? Yes. You were born there, and happiness puts you there. Quite often you're there, but most people, because they've been trained to be so observant of life and so objective and so weighing the pros and the cons and the pluses and the minuses, most don't stay there because most don't give themselves permission to be happy all the time. Humans have convinced themselves somehow that they need to have some pain and struggle in order to have some advantage. But yes, appreciation takes you right there. Music often transports you there. Often sex often takes you there. Often physical sensations that are satisfying take you there. Meditation is just a tool that we teach because it's really sure. And once you show it to yourself and you utilize it consistently, then you are more likely to maintain that frequency. No one in physical form ever gets there and remains there only because you want step one moments to launch new rockets. The evolution of all species is about that. What about collective consciousness, us as a community and law of attraction? Do we attract as a nation some um, hurdles, evil, wars, or the good things? You attract as individuals and then you become collective and so it affects more of you. And you do influence one another because of your observation of one another. So it's not uncommon for what's going on in the collective consciousness of the human mind to be similar because the more you get together and the more you observe the same things, the more you accomplish those frequencies. But the thing that we've been saying for a really long time, and it's the thing that we most want any of you as individuals to hear from us, it doesn't matter what anybody else or everybody else is doing. It's only your relationship with your own power that matters. The conversation that we're really having is how well can you hook up and how well do you know that you are and how much can you not be swayed by the influence of others who aren't hooked up. Imagine a collective consciousness where you're in alignment and the others are too. Can you imagine what that must be like? That's what non-physical is like. That's the power of influence, you see. And that's why well-being will always dominate. We've got you outnumbered. So the best way to help others is to show by your own example. Yeah, to feel it yourself, to know it yourself, and to not be challenged by what they don't know. Thank you. Yeah, really good. Well, I was going to ask something else, but now I want to ask about sex. Um, so we've mistakenly attached each other's vortices to each other because you're like, oh, you're so great. I get in the vortex by having sex with you. And you're like, that's a mistake. We need to know our vortex is our own. There's a difference between using a physical condition to line you up and being lined up and attracting a physical condition. Sometimes people say, well, if I do something and that it affects my vibration, isn't that beneficial? And we say, yes, do the things that affect your vibration in a positive way. But it is so much more powerful when you find your alignment and then are inspired to the action. You hear the distinction? Yeah. Yeah. I'm also curious about desire. I feel like I have like a wobble in wanting what I want because I find contrast really nice. Like it's, it's the surprises in my life. Have then it's not really a wobble things. then, is it? That sounds more like a step five experience where I know I've got control and I know that there will be contrast and I know the contrast will inspire my desire for more and I know I can line up with it and off I go. Sounds perfect to us. It's what you signed on for. It's what you knew you were coming to. Yeah, but I really want to want some things that I don't let myself want. <laughs> Well, you know what will make the difference? If you really want to want some things that you're not letting yourself want in time, the discomfort of not letting yourself have the things you want will give you a rocket of desire and you'll take the bounce. Eventually, you might get tired or have had enough of not feeling good because you've not let yourself go. It's not about the thing. It's about the journey to the thing. Everything should be feeling good on your way to it. And if it's not feeling good, then you must not be on your way to it. 
Would you describe yourself as a thoughtful person, meaning you think a lot? Yeah. That's all right. And would you describe yourself as an active thinker? In other words, your mind is active. Mm -hmm. And would you describe yourself as a sensitive person who feels sensitive to what you think? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the perfect combination. Born into an environment with lots to think about. An inner being who's right there with you thinking too. And you being able to feel the difference between your inner being's impression of what's going on and yours. So that you can guide yourself more into alignment with what you want. Do you accept the concept of the vortex? Mm -hmm. And so does it feel to you that you've already put a lot into it? Yeah. And can you hear us when we say there's enough in there to keep you busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes? So then does it feel logical that now you're fine tuning and doesn't fine tuning feel like hands in the clay? Isn't that all just for the satisfaction and the deliciousness of doing it? You know, you're going to create something magnificent and you know, it's going to be wonderful, but don't you want to be doing it? Isn't it fun to be thinking thoughts and know they're off and then line up and feel it click into place and then see some results and know why those results came and then feel yourself really on the track and feel life going really well and then feeling yourself wobble and know that you're wobbling and then gain your stability and know that you did. Isn't that the joyous journey that we're talking about? Especially when you have yourself in this place where there's no risk. There's no risk for any of you. There's no risk. There's no risk. There's nothing serious going on. There's no risk. <laughs> There's no risk. Doesn't it feel good knowing that when you know what you know and you want what you want, do you want life to give you some big dramatic things? They say, oh, no, now I know, now I know. Or do you want to just figure it out as you go and feel satisfaction as you go? You see, you can't get it wrong because life helps you to know what you don't want so you know what you do want. But in most cases, you launch the rocket, but you stay more in alignment with what you don't want because that's what you've been observing, which launched the rocket. But it launched the rocket into a non-physical vibrational reality that you can't see or hear or smell or taste or touch, but you can sure see reality. So you can sure see the reality that helps you to create the new one, but the not wanted part of it is still kind of dominant within you if you're like most people. So you don't line up with it because here it is. And that's what you're talking about. That's what other people are talking about. It's a more active part. So then it gets bigger, which launches another rocket, which you might not be ready for either. So then it gets bigger and you launch another rocket. Well, eventually there will be enough clarification of what you want, which is what you are asking for enough clarification of what you want because of the blessed contrast that now you know what you want. Your desire comes into definition because of what you're living. And then once that happens, then knowing what you know, you just have to talk about what you want and why you want it and think about that more. And the other will eventually fall by the wayside or did that sound hard? We wanted it to because it is hard. This is really hard. This is hard. To be engulfed in what you don't want and know that it's all in the vortex. And then we say, so just go over there. And you say, right. <laughs> if I could have done that, I would have done that a long time ago. So then we say, well, then we have another idea for you. Meditate, which makes all that become inactive. All that unwanted becomes inactive. And all that in the vortex becomes hyperactive, superactive, inner being active. And so for the time that you're in meditation or at the time you're not doing that thing you do that's keeping you from that alignment, now you're getting into the receptive mode. You're getting more ready to be ready. And now things that are there begin to show themselves to you. Sometimes you don't even know exactly how what you want is going to play out. You just know how the essence of it is going to feel when it does. But as humans, you keep thinking that you need to know exactly what it's going to look like. What shape is it going to take? Who, what, where, when? But if instead you could just say, whatever it is and whoever it is and whenever it is and however it is, it'll be great because I put it there incrementally. And my work is just to get into that receiving mode and let the details surprise and delight me. Let the details surprise and delight me. Most people think that creation happens by deciding what you want and talking only about that. Sort of like goal setting. 
I want it to be this big and this tall and this rich and this, 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 this. I want all of these characteristics or components to be there. But what you really want is clarity and fun and fulfillment and exhilaration and passion. What you really want is to feel the alignment of source energy. What you really want is to be in this state of being where you're connected with the energy that creates worlds and you're flowing it toward the things that you desire. So hear the distinction that we're making. You did the work. You put the details into your desire piece by piece, experience by experience. There's a lot of detail in that vortex, even though you can't define it exactly. And you know why you can't define it? Because you put it in incrementally and because every piece of it has been evolving ever since it's been there. And because of your inner being's attention upon it, it is more than you are ready to comprehend. Are you following us? It's more than you are ready to comprehend. It's bigger. It's more fascinating. It's more exhilarating. It's more beautiful. You can't quite comprehend it. But as you get into the feeling place where you feel good, your inner being will offer you an impulse or an idea. And little by little, your comprehension of what's there will come into place. And then you will know. So what's been tripping you up is you think you need to know all of it all at once. You think you should be able to define it all and speak it all. It's not how it works. You've put it there. Trust it. It's become more. Trust that. Your inner being knows how to explain it to you. Trust that. And as the impulses come, you'll know. Oh, I know what I want. It's like Jerry and Esther would wander into a store. Pretty common. Esther dragged him into a lot of them. <laughs> and someone would come and say, can I help you? And Jerry always said, we're just looking for something to want. <laughs> and that really is, it's all there. And when you see it, you'll know it. When you see it, you'll know it. If you're in that state of alignment. You follow? Mm. Something more? Thank you. Yeah. Really good. Really good.